Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is Saturday. It is March 11th. We're going to be doing corned beef and cabbage today. You might be asking what exactly is corned beef? Well, you probably have had corned beef. Corned beef is basically a brisket that has been sort of I don't want to say pickled, but it's been cured. So corned beef is is made out of a brisket. It takes a very, very long time to cook brisket. Briskets can cook anywhere from several hours to, if they're done on the grill, they could be as long as 18 hours, depending on the size. Briskets, a whole brisket includes the fat, section or the flat section and then a thicker section on the other end we're going to be focusing on briskets probably this summer when i can do a really long cook on the big green egg but today we're going to do corned beef and cabbage and we're going to do it in two different methods first method we're going to do and you can see i have my lacusse on the stove over here is going to be a stove top version which is probably the version that most people do they either do it on the stove or they can do it in a slow cooker these take about three to four hours to cook the other method that we're going to do is we're going to be using the instant pot and that takes a little bit less it still takes a long time it takes about an hour and a half or 90 minutes in the pressure cooker to cook so we're going to be doing corned beef and cabbage we're also going to be doing root some root vegetables with it and you might eat wonder what goes well with with corned beef well any root vegetable carrots we're going to use uh, carrots turnips par uh, parsnip and rutabaga and if you're not familiar with any of those vegetables i'm going to teach you what those vegetables are and how to properly prepare them so it's 10 30 a.m we're not going to eat until about five to six o'clock tonight so i'm not going to start everything until about noon i was going to do a hoska today also and show you but i unfortunately don't have the lemons i need for the hoska so i'm going to save that for another day possibly either tomorrow or monday so stay tuned for that. So today is going to be a St. Patrick's Day corned beef and cabbage day. Okay, and I'm back. And this is corn, this is the corned beef. And you can see that it it's uh, trying to get in close so you guys can see it. It is it is brined, and it's got water, salt, seasonings. Um, citric acid and it also has its cooking directions right here we're gonna ignore that because like i said we're gonna do corned beef differently today but this would be the flat side of the brisket and then if you look at a full brisket there's a whole nother part that is here and briskets can weigh up to 15 to 20 pounds depending on how much shrimming has been done on on a bris on a, a brisket and briskets are usually pretty flat fatty the flat side not so much fat as as the taller and there's the proper name for the taller section of of the brisket and i'll do some research and when we get into the brisket family We'll do that, but we're going to be concentrating on this. I have two corned beef flats that I bought, and this is just the Vienna corned beef. So when buying corned beef, the things that you want to look for <clears throat> are the brand and the price. And this was kind of expensive. This this unit price is $7.99 a pound, and lately beef has gone way up and since this is a piece of beef namely a brisket 
it, it's a little bit more expensive. You can usually find corned beef briskets on sale around St. Patrick's Day. So I haven't done a corned beef in, in a couple of years now for my husband. And just decided, <clears throat> since it's the holiday and this is a cooking show, I'd make corned beef and cabbage. It's really not that hard to do once you have all your ingredients. All of your seasonings and it I'm gonna go really close you can see all these speckles are the seasonings so sometimes in a corned beef <clears throat> when you buy corned beef you'll have a little tiny little package that you'll dump in with the water to make those what you want to do is you want to rinse your corned beef this one doesn't have to be rinsed because it doesn't have the package but if your corned beef does have a package, then you want to make sure you, you rinse the corned beef very well to get all of the salts off of it and then cook them. So we're going to be concentrating on that. One other thing I forgot to mention when I mentioned all the vegetables that go with corned beef and cabbage is also potatoes. And I have red potatoes that we're going to add later. But I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to make good corned beef and cabbage. So stay tuned as we make our corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> 